Good afternoon, Sheila Ann Roby here, Financial Advisor at Liberty Group SA. Today I'll be discussing our national budget speech for 2022, as delivered by Minister of Finance, Enoch Kodongwana. So, the Minister of Finance was in high spirits today whilst engaging with Parliament, and rightly so, because the allocations that were made today were relatively pleasing to those in the financial sector. However, what does that mean for us as consumers? What does it mean for us at the end of the day? Well, some of the highlights that came out of the minister's speech today, firstly, was that there will be no increase in the fuel levy. This is a wonderful advancement because this hasn't happened for the last 31 years. And obviously what that means for us as consumers is that we'll have more rands at the end of the day. Another wonderful highlight from the budget speech is that we will have an increase in medical aid tax credits. Again, this means that we'll have more money or rands to spend um, in our monthly budgets. And thirdly, and probably best of all, is that there are certain personal income tax breaks. So in comparison to last year, you will have more money at the end of the month. So us as consumers are encouraged to spend um, in order for the fiscus to improve its economic growth, um, which is something that we would really love to see by the end of 2023, is an improvement in the economy as we recover after a very tough two years. However, from a financial advisor's point of view, as a result of the wonderful budget speech that was delivered today, you consumers are encouraged to save and to recover and replenish that which was used up in the last two years if one was faced with retrenchments, job cuts, salary cuts and the like. Overall, a wonderful budget speech. Um, unfortunately, where we are seeing some cuts in terms of our Rands is obviously increases across the board on syntax items such as cigarettes and alcohol. And as a result, we obviously encourage to then give up those, those habits so that we can further increase um, our surplus income at the end of the month. But like I said, overall, a very positive outlook for South Africa in general and for consumers, we are very much going to be in a much better position on the things that we need instead of relying on credit uh, to get us through from a month to month. That's all from my side. Thank you very much. Sheila and Roby with Liberty.